If you are one of my old Facebook friends, you might remember that I posted a lot of shit in 2014. When I say a lot, I mean hundreds, sometimes over 1,000 posts a day. Not to mention... selfies. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. So why did I go crazy on Facebook? Well... It's because I was crazy. <laughs> okay. I guess the technical term is full-blown mania with psychosis. But many of you probably don't know what that means. See, back in 2012, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. Now, I know a lot of you think you know what bipolar disorder is. Cue the music. You change your mind all the time. You're moody, you're happy one moment, and then suddenly bitchy. Or as Katy Perry says, And in pop culture, we see characters with bipolar disorder showcasing signs of mania. I'm not calming down! I don't give a fuck who you're- I'm not calming down! Anybody can wake up! I'm not ashamed of it! I'm not ashamed of it! Let the whole neighborhood wake up! I don't care! Green is necessary. It, it doesn't make sense if it isn't green, and it's really not an unreasonable request. I mean, is, is green so hard? Is green elusive? I mean, my kingdom for a fucking green pen! Now, I'm not gonna say these are completely false and inaccurate representations, but they don't even come close to capturing the whole picture. Do you know the worst part about bipolar disorder? During my manic episode, I've ruined and strained relationships with friends and family. I lost my best friend from university. I said horrible things to so many people, including those closest to me. Things that I don't mean. My friend John told me that during his manic episode, he said some things to his brother. And since then, their relationship has never been the same. That's the worst part. Irreversible damage to your relationships. See, here's the thing. A lot of people don't know how serious manic episodes can be until they see it in person. Here's what a couple friends had to say after my recovery. Something switched and you were just talking was normally again. And it, I was just like, how is this possible? It was like magic to me. I didn't think you could come back from that and somehow you were just right there, yeah, that, that, as you were before almost. That's the same reaction I had too. I just didn't believe that it was possible for you to go from what you were like at manic stage back to close to what you are now. You were like 90%. It, it was like the craziest progress I'd ever seen. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. You went from like unable to hold a conversation, making these weird movements and all over the place to talking to other voices to suddenly holding a conversation, having focus, and asking about what had happened. Now, I can't squeeze everything into one video. A lot of shit happened. I'm actually... I'm actually lucky to be alive. It's a long story. But if there's one thing I want you to take away, it's this. For bipolar disorder, treatment is good enough these days that once people find the right treatment, they can prevent any further episodes from happening. A lot of times, you actually won't be able to tell who has bipolar disorder or not once they've found treatment that works. So I can keep quiet, and other than a few friends and family, people won't know that I have bipolar disorder. But then again, the reason there's still prejudice against these things is because of a lack of conversation. So I want to share my story over the next videos. The more people know about this, there will be less judging. So let's put an end to the shaming. Let's put an end to the hiding. Let's talk.